Conrad's been Conrad's using a oh. abandoned shack in the woods to do some like real weird evil stuff. Um, it seems like he was doing some sort of like research or study. Um, there's something called Slipstream that seems to be mentioned a bunch. As as long as uh, we've got this over Conrad, we are literally. He can't a- get us into more trouble without getting himself into a lot of trouble. This could this could very well be the start of a very strong sequence of escalations of, you know, absolute nonsense until somebody actually gets hurt or expelled or something. Carafail wasn't killed by the witch. Carafail was transformed into this frog. Mr. Carafail is magical in nature. I knew it! We're gonna find your true love, I promise, and I'm gonna set you free from this curse, okay? I have to figure out what's going on with my sword, or I have to surrender it. My mother actually came here to the school. She studied here. Yeah, she was a luminary. Maybe someone knows something about the sword. So. Would the librarians the, have records? The library would have records. Do we have time? Yep. You <laughs> do. <laughs> You're all going to be leveling up. Congratulations, oh, us! Yay! Level two! Yes. Finally! It's the next morning. And the first thing I want to do is give Claire a hero point. (laughs) For getting my frog back? For excellent uh, role playing in the last couple of (laughs) sessions. Uh, I definitely should have given you one at the end of that. And watching it back, I was like, that was something that should have happened. So congratulations. (laughs) I had a lot of drama last time. Uh, You were terrifying. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah rewatching that episode, it was like, mm, yeah, that, that was, yeah, it was very intense. Mm. So, um, yeah, well done. <laughs> um, but uh, don't take my frog ever again. <laughs> <laughs> you um, you have been reunited with your companion. Um, you all returned home safe to your dormitory, and I trust managed to get some sleep. You have um, you have your nature class in a couple of hours, probably. That's right, we do. Yeah, you'd, yeah. You'd probably we're have... gonna ace that class. No. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna know yeah. all about yeah. the cauldron so, vines. Yeah. It's gonna be great. We're gonna yeah. get A pluses. Yeah, <laughs> I believe we were looking. Were, were we looking disheveled in that class? Did you call that out ahead of time, or was it like? I don't think I can't so. Remember you made it's some comment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You all get up fairly early in the morning. Um, the class is probably in. Um, let's call it like two hours from now. Um, once you, hmm. once you've sort of like hmm. gotten up and had breakfast and everything. Um, so you, you, the, I guess like the kind of the big elephant in the room is, is the sword. you have to return your sword to the, the forge this morning if you don't find a way to open it basically. Yeah. So I, um, I feel like I got up particularly early and I've just kind of been staring at it in my room and just like, if you were walking past every now and then you'd just hear like a clunk as I try and open it and like yeah. a, just a, a frustrated huff as it like hits the pillows, just like yeah. in the, into the cushions. Yeah. Are, um, you, are you just trying to open it by just tugging it? Like, are, are you trying? I, I feel like, I'm just, yeah, or? I feel like I, I, I initially I'm just like trying to see if there's like a mechanism or like just like a simple like latch yeah. to it. Like maybe it slots in and like clicks into place or something. Um, but then failing that, I'm going to try and like actually take a proper look at it and see if I can see yeah. anything. Yeah. I imagine there's probably like a little bit of a montage of you pacing around <laughs> your bed as you like, you know, try and hit it with things and, um, you know, get an idea and, and then <laughs> go over and it's like, oh, yeah. no. put it in boiling water and try and, you know, loosen it up. <laughs> oil. Just, li- yeah. li- just in listening just... to it. Just being like, <laughs> tell me your secrets. Tell me your secrets. Please. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, like, can I... Uh, properly investigate it like make a, a um, check against it uh, yeah i guess is there something i can do to look maybe maybe crafting this <laughs> i don't have sense. law yeah. mother's lost secrets <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bit uh yeah okay let's see let's see let's see let's see yeah it's only seven so i don't think that's gonna do it no yeah you're you're entirely stumped no damn damn it damn it how do you comes a voice this? from I, inside Kellen's uh enclosure what uh, is the point of the Duh. Yeah. Uh, are you are you okay over I, there? I storm out, holding it. No, I'm, I'm being like, do either of you here? I'm sitting in the like living room area, and I've just got a lap full of moss, and I'm making a little carry 
sack for Carafel and Carafel sitting next to me now that I'm a le- um, my secret's out and everyone knows about my frog. It, keep, it keeps trying to jump on the moss as you're like trying to work. <laughs> yeah, Carafel, yeah. just just wait. I like. I'm glad that you like it, but w- what's wrong, Kellen? That's extremely adorable, and honestly, it makes me feel a little better. <laughs> I'm just gonna calm down. Uh, uh, yes. So um, this is my mum's sword, uh, and. I don't know how to open it, and if I can't open it, I'll have to give it back because the school won't be able to verify it's not evil. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's evil. I don't think my mum was evil, but I don't know how to open it, and I don't want to have to give it back because it's very important well, to me, and I was entrusted with it. And why would it be evil? I it's don't, just a sword, right? Well, I mean, why? If they're all just swords, why are they making us check them all in? Well, what, could you do that spell that you did on on Carafail to see if there's some sort of magical thing? Yeah, I mean, it yeah, would, you know about magic stuff. I, I know about magic stuff. Um, I cast detect magic. Yep. So detect magic um, detects magic in your vicinity. Um, there's definitely magic in your vicinity. <laughs> there is magic in my vicinity. Yeah. I like. Yeah. I step away from Carafail and all other magic, and I like take off. Just go anything. out into the corridor and be yeah, like, like, yeah, without the cloak. Uh, yes, e- even as you step out into the middle of the field naked, um, <laughs> uh, it is in fact uh, there is magic nearby. Yeah. <laughs> Can can you see anything like runes or anything you might recognize? Um, I, couldn't, so it, I couldn't find anything. It does seem magical. Um, I could uh, could I roll a arcana yeah, check? Arcana. Yep. Be the way. <laughs> oh Natural no! One. Uh, <laughs> what a way to start the morning. <laughs> oh, how many times can I make this joke? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. You made so many arcana checks <laughs> that have been natural ones. Like <laughs> um, anyway, the sword powers. Kellen. Kellen. <laughs> I don't, know. don't lose this. You can't give this back. Uh, yes, I I agree with you. Very very on board. We with need that to figure out how to open this. Have you? Well, uh, the, there's that that story about um, only the. Well, the, there's a, a, a lot of different versions of the st- uh, something about only someone who's very special in some particular way can. O- pull the sword from the I mean, well normally it's from a stone or from an uh, I try opening the sword <laughs> no well, damn it <laughs> um I mean I I'm not partic- okay I'll just gently and I'm assuming and it comes out <laughs> <laughs> so d- it, is it like rattling around it in there like something's locking out, it or does it feel confirm. it's snug yeah it's yeah. very snug sheet. it feels like magically yeah. like uh, arrested in place yeah okay mm. yeah. um well I think I'm going to go to the library and try and dig up some thing about it. Well, um, the, that will have things on, on those stories and maybe that will give more information. Yeah. It, because your mother was an illuminary, right? So we should be able to understand something from it, from records. Yes, yes. Oh, maybe maybe someone who works in the library um, no, n- knew your mother. Well, this was the thing. Either I'm going to try and find information about the sword or see if anybody, like would have any information that would be pertinent to it. I, I mean, I don't know when, you know, I don't know much about its origin when she acquired it, but if if, if it's, you know, related to her time at the school in some way, maybe I'll dig something up. Well, so we can all go. Do you want to go to the library? Yeah. I, I mean, we, we've got a yeah. little bit of time before class if you want to come along. Yeah. Do you want to go to the library, Carafail? I'm definitely this is good. the best like NPC to voice because I just yeah. <laughs> between that and the methods you've really given yeah, yourself yeah, yeah, like yeah, a, a Milo. Uh, there's also something uh, curious as well for you. Um, you keep noticing um, over over like probably just like the last couple of days that your room seems to be cleaning itself. What? Like that's... my nuts on the on the windowsill? Um, they're disappearing. Yeah. Um, so the bowl, the, the bowl's still there, but it's empty. Um, but your shoes seem to sort of like organize themselves. Um, you know, your beds kind of like straighten out and even themselves. I hate this. Um, only, only Milo, not the. Two I was going to say yeah. my pile yeah. of my pile of cushions with a method on top is preserved. Yeah. My room is very clean. Okay. Yeah. No, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I got um, clothes all over the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, can you do me a favor? What do you need? My room's cleaning itself, and I hate it. Can you? <laughs> Leave some mess around your guys' room so that I, so that maybe whatever's happening. Way ahead of you, buddy. <laughs> um, but 
Cleaning is is good character building, so it's important to have a, a good clean room because a good clean room will mean that you have a good clean state of mind. To um, so you're not know. cleaning your room. I look, I, I have specific. I suppose you could call them traditions that are getting kind of taken. What, I guess. What sort of traditions are it, you leaving out? It's a bit. Oh, it's a bit silly, but um, I mean, we, you just helped me go on a, a big thing about a frog, so yes, you know, th- that, I think we're kind of past silly. Mm. That's fair. But also, the frog is a whole person who is. Well, yeah, you, yeah, but like, like it's not silly. The because point it's not is just that a frog. you know, you, I, I'm never going to judge either of you for anything you do because I. I wouldn't very... that oh, That's a big call. That's a big call. <laughs> You're very trusting. Yeah. Isn't that a good thing? You for know what? I I don't really feel like I need to try and refute that. <laughs> yeah. For the most part. <laughs> yes. So, I... what? I mean, yeah, I can. Whatever you want me to do. I mean, my room is messy as heck. Right, well, so. well, let's what just. Are, what are you leaving out? Should we leave out the same things? Yeah, that might that might work. Ooh, so, yes. uh. Yeah, okay. Um, so I'll get three bowls and I'll pour some nuts in them and then I'll pour some milk and then leave some bread and I'll just can them. Yeah. And so so all of all of your um <laughs> all of your rooms have a window um, mm-hmm. yeah. on the back on the back wall. So you, you can all have a window sill each if you want. All right. Yeah. We're gonna uh, so this is <clears throat> fake stuff, I I guess. Okay. Oh, so is... you leave out offerings to cool. Wait. If if you're leaving offerings out to the Fey and then they're being they're gone, doesn't that mean that they're accepting them and in return they're cleaning your room as thanks for you leaving yeah. that out? I thought maybe I don't know. I don't want to think about it too hard. I just want it to not <laughs> okay, be. Um, you're not well, trying to attract. Well, he's if, not trying to attract yeah, the I'd, cleaning your room kind of fay. Uh, I'm trying. A, a, anyone can roll a if 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 you want to sort of recall knowledge on the fay, you can roll a nature check. Um, and in this instance, probably occultism as well. Yeah, it's sort of ritual. I do. I'll give it a go. Yeah. Fifteen. I trust my instincts. Fifteen. 15. Yeah. Um, I do have law fay specifically, so that would be. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Harry! Oh, buddy! No wonder you're paranoid, guys! <laughs> um, okay. So oh, okay, no, 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 hang on, hang on. Okay, so he's yeah, um, got some work to do. T, you know no. that um, uh, commonly, like, uh, these exchanges kind of are uh, fairly well documented. Um, um, you've probably read about them before in your, in your sort of studies. Hmm. Um, that, uh, yeah, some Fae will take exchanges as, as favour um, and they will typically have a rule of law that they will, you know, make sure that they return debt in a good capacity or a negative capacity regardless of what happens. So the tidying seems like um, a likely version of that. Yeah, okay. and the fact it's that they... fair the, value. The, fa- the fact that they are, yeah, consuming the... the Or the milk seems to be disappearing, the nuts seem to be disappearing. Um, you can make a reasonable assessment that this might be some sort of uh, exchange of favours. Um, Milo, um, there are demons in your <laughs> room um, and they are stealing everything because you know that demons will um, often like to mess with people. And so um, not only are they stealing stealing the milk and offerings that you're putting out to the Fae, but um, they are uh, toying with you, and they know that it will break your mind eventually. (laughs) Psychological warfare. run into my room, and I pack everything into, like, a chest I am assuming that is there, and then I cast an invisible object. (laughs) (laughs) So you put all your belongings in it and just make it disappear. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That'll be fun for you to find later. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, they can't find it, Uh, so... I maybe hope. I, I'm sure they're just being nice. I, I, I don't. I don't think we have to go quite that far. No, um, too late. Or, or, well, or, um, or, or we just have some very neat squirrels. You know, that sounds worse. Uh, I'm going to put, put mine on on the um, windowsill as well. And um, if no, maybe not. Maybe. <laughs> well, like, if if there are bad things. We'll deal with them. That's I mean, what we do. I actually don't want my room tidied, so if you don't mind, I'm not going to put mine. Okay, uh, I'll take it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I kind of yeah. like mine the way it is. Yeah. So I'll put two bowls of this stuff on my windowsill. Mm, double helping. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so anyway, we now have an hour and a half to get to the library. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. No. Um, no. 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 That's fine. I, it's just like the the, the Faye thing is not to pay tribute to them. It's to ask that they don't 
fuck with me. You don't have to justify do they, anything to us. Do they Mama? normally do that? Uh, um, they do that sometimes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I don't think it's silly for reference. They, they, I don't think you. it's silly they, either. They, they, yeah. They, it's they. good to have traditions that you keep that are good. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Well said, Beatrice. Well <laughs> said. <laughs> and well, that's go. <laughs> yeah. that, you go to the place of uh, amazing vernacular. Wise, wise words. <laughs> yes, to the library, I think, for all of us, perhaps. I have a ten intelligence. <laughs> Mm. So the library is a large chamber with a tall ceiling that's probably like three stories mm. tall. Um, uh, the the upper levels though are mezzanines that basically wrap around the side. The bottom floor being filled with a whole bunch of study desks that are populated with students as you come in. Um, and all of the walls around the edges of each of the mezzanines and on the bottom floor are, um, are bookshelves, obviously. There's an occasional soft whir though, as the students operate arcane devices at sort of stations around the bookshelves, um, and the whole shelves um, shuffle like slot machines, essentially, when they um, will input something. Rotate around. Um, yeah, kind of like, you know, like shelves. rotating billboard kind of things. Yeah, cool. Um, so that um, the students don't typically... Uh, you know, have to browse the shelves, mm -hmm. they make the shelves come to them. Is there um, like one giant like pocket dimension that just has all the books in it and then they yeah. just summon onto the shelves? Yeah, um, basically th th this is co probably common knowledge, but essentially the 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 amount of books that they actually store at the academy um, and a lot of them, you know, quite sort of uh, valuable books, they are all stored almost extra dimensionally and they are recalled as necessary. That makes um, sense. Yeah. That's um amazing. I guess I guess for like the where I, where I'm trying to go with the sword thing is mm -hmm. is, is kind of twofold. Like the first is trying to find yep. literal information about what kind of like magical uh, item it could be, right? So mm -hmm. like doing research into the physical thing itself. But then also like I don't know if there's like a hall of records or yep. a like place I could find information about my mum specifically, that might also be illuminating. So, you know, both of those avenues, potentially whichever one yeah. is more immediately, yeah. you know, available. Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, like, so there's a help desk um, is probably the <laughs> probably the first stop. Um, so the, the library is broken up into, like, um, regular access books sort of around. If you know what you're looking for, you can pretty much just go and help yourself um, as long as you're kind of, like, looking up categories or titles or authors. Um, there are probably more um, restricted things and things probably like files on specific students and history of the academy might um, be gated somewhat behind access yeah, levels. Yeah, I imagine, I imagine yeah. like, yeah, th things like who won what, you know, yeah. you know, fireball off in, you know, yeah. the year 63 is probably just like in, yeah. a, in an article somewhere, but like actual personal information yeah. would be. Yeah, yeah. So um, that would definitely be in some of the restricted archives. Okay, um, I'm going to go find a yeah. librarian. Yeah, cool. Um, so the, the help desk is basically a circular, um, a, a circular desk in the middle of the room. Um, and there's a bunch of archivists that are helping other students. Has a big um, eye over it. Yeah, big eye. It's looking yeah. at all the students. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going, shh, be quiet. <laughs> As anyone go, anyone makes too much noise. You walk up and it's, it's quite like naturally lit. Like the, the ceiling is all just sort of, um, uh, skylight, uh, glass. And, uh, you approach the desk and, um, the archivist that greets you there is a full orc. Mm -hmm. um, he has slick, neatly parted dark hair. He's also wearing a lavish uh, maroon robe um, mm. that's quite sort of uh, elaborate and has fine trim on it. Um, his fingers are adorned with copious rings as he's gazing down through reading glasses at, at a lad. book um, that looks like probably quite small in his big beefy hands. Um, and he, yeah, he's he's sort of sitting um, at the desk and just very just casually reading and, and turning pages as you approach. Uh, um, excuse me. Uh, hello. Yes. Um, Can I help you? Uh, hopefully, yes. Um, it's actually my first time in here. It's fantastic. Ah, new students. Yes. Hello. Delightful. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, I'm Kellen. Ah, I'm Melville. I'm one of the archivists here. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you in. Uh, do you need to collect your, your um, books? But I was actually coming to try and find some information about this. Uh, and I just... How tall is the... Um, uh, like, the, is it, is it like itself. way up there? Yeah, or is it I, like I'd say he's probably sitting like, yeah, his face is probably like several feet above you as he's kind of looking down. Cause it's probably like a, a, a slight step and then he's probably behind. So it's probably at wall. head height for yeah, me. Yeah. Okay. So I, I just kind of like put it up and being like, uh, I need to figure out, uh, how to open this basically. Um, 
Uh, and he goes, hmm, interesting. And he takes it and looks at it and goes, I think it's a sword. <laughs> Yes, uh, th- that's a good start. Um, I was hoping to maybe narrow it down a little more specifically. You say you can't open it. Uh, yes. Mm. And he tugs on it and he's like, mm. must be uh, magically sealed shut. Yes, that's what I was hoping to research to see if I can figure out how to open it. Oh, is it cursed? I don't think so. It was, it was uh, my mother's uh, and she was actually a luminary. Uh, so, oh. sort of an important heirloom. Uh, who was your mother? Uh, uh, Lenora Finrail. Mm-hmm. Um, you see his face kind of like, uh, he raises his eyebrows quite a bit. And then he goes, Phew, it's big shoes to fill. Big shoes. And you can't it, even it, open her sword. It, is it? I, I, I don't really know much about what she did here. Oh, well, she was only one of the first and last luminaries to reach the rank of candescent. So, no big deal. Is is that a big deal? Yes, it is very much a big deal. I see, I see. Uh, she she passed away before I was old enough to mm. remember her, mm. really. So, I don't I don't know much about her. <laughs> yes, uh, well, I could, I guess, uh, help you out on this front. Uh, fortunately, I'm quite busy. Uh, the restricted archives, they... <sighs> Typically, only uh, access for fulgence and above um, without permission and supervision, of course. And I would take you down myself, but I have a lot of tasks that I need to do. I, I see. Is is there perhaps a, an exchange of, of, of effort then? Uh, is there something we could perhaps lend a hand with that would free up some of your time? I'm sorry. You think you're up to the task of the duties of a librarian? Oh no, I don't, I'm not saying I could do your job at all. No, I, uh, we can we can lift books. Many hands make idle work, and that does seem to be uh, your specialty. <sighs> I guess. I mean, uh, it's very stressful all the work that I do here. It would be nice to have some helping hands uh but again you know my superiors they would never approve of having new lambents help with librarian duties you know uh, uh, <laughs> i i don't mean to insist well i do mean to insist but i don't mean to sound rude we're on a bit of a uh a, a, a tight schedule you see if i don't figure this out i i, I it's going to be confiscated uh, and and I, I would really prefer not to have that happen, as it is quite important to me. Okay, uh, give me a, give me a <laughs> persuasion, a diplomacy check, to try and make a request. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's really not good. I need, gonna hear a point I need this sword done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's a three, okay. so it would be a ten total. Ten total, and then you can upgrade that. Yeah, okay, cool. So that is a regular success then. Yeah. I mean... Easy come, easy go, hero points. I gotta, that's up, that's I gotta, I gotta figure yeah. this sword yeah. thing yeah. out. Can no, that's fair. like, stack hero points up? You can have up to three. Can you, no, okay. can you use two at once to oh. go? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna make that call now. Because you can't make a, yeah. a regular a crit. You can only bring it up to a regular yeah, yeah. success. Yeah. Then, yeah, this is this is when I need it. Yeah, mm. yeah, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, fair enough. So he, he, um, he takes a long look at you and goes, Hmm, looks like you are in dire need indeed. Hmm, I suppose I could take some time out of my schedule. Um, and he puts down his, um, he puts down his book. What does the, what is the book? Can I see? Uh, the book is A Fetching Quest by Nern Root. <laughs> yeah. Um, Do I recognize the book? Is it, is uh, it like popular it, fiction? It, it looks something? to be, yeah, it looks to be like, um, basically pulp fantasy. Okay. Um, yeah. What is, um, uh, hang on, what is pop fantasy in a fantasy world? Um, very stale. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, pop fantasy, I think it's probably... Um, generic kind of hero stories. Yeah, I mean, like, the same kind of tales exist. Like, you know, that's what Beechroot grew up on and whatnot. So I think I think they still are probably similar kind of like, and then we tamed a dragon Fair kind of enough. stories. Mm, fair yeah. enough. He uh, puts his book down and he goes... <sighs> reaches behind him and then grabs a, a, a filing cabinet and opens it and pulls out a couple of cards and um, he places them in front of you 
Um, and he says, if, uh, if you can help me track down these books, they are missing, long overdue, yada yada, then I will grant you permission, with my supervision, to go down to the archives. That's where we keep information, probably information on a cursed sword owned by a famous luminary. You may have some clues down there. Okay. Um, is there any way we could perhaps do the looking first and the finding later? Because I have an hour to get it back to the forge. He pushes the card's phone and says, you best be quick then. How many books are on? Um, so, uh, I, yeah, I, I, I'm like, I, I'm like, and then I just grab the cards and I just run. Wait, wait. <laughs> okay, you go. Um, the, t- uh, the two of you, I assume, not going quite yet. Um, as you run, you look at the index cards. Um, there are three, um, and they're basically like, yeah, like the name of the book, um, but then there's no other information below them. There's just a little black dot that seems to be darting around on the, um, on, on the card itself. Mm. Um... And uh, he looks at so, the two of you and says, let's see how long before he comes back. <laughs> so yeah, I think I probably get about t- 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 10, 20 meters away before I'm like, and I just like back up. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> this is what happens when you're hasty, friend. Yes, but I think haste is warranted. So please, how do I use these? <laughs> He points at the cards and he says, Every book in this library is um, has had an enchantment placed on it to uh, make it traceable so that if worst case scenario a book goes missing, God forbid, we can track it down, find it again. Uh, it's very challenging to keep track of last owners and all that kind of thing, because books get shared between students, and ultimately we found it just wasn't very fruitful. So we just keep tabs on where they all are magically, and some books, even uh, if they're valuable and if they are uh, potentially restricted, we uh, attach them with little uh, type of returning runes, so that when the due date comes to return them, we can just bring them back in here and the students don't even have to fuss over it. And I assume neither of these have magical returning runes. Normally they do have returning runes but for whatever reason these books have not been returned. Either they have been damaged, someone may have removed the returning rune which is a thing that does happen or they've been uh, hopefully not destroyed somewhere. Would if someone put a book in a locked case would the book still be able to come back with the returning rune, or would it not be able to? Yes, yes, the returning runes should be able to go through uh, a variety of uh, multi-dimensional barriers, magical barriers. If students have them in the pockets of their cloaks, we need to be able to bring them back. So, 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 how do I, uh, this location system thing? That mm. is, how does that work? Mm. Oh, well, it's just a compass. You see, it just points in the direction of the book. And that's it. And how many? Is it three that we've got? There's three of them. So, uh, uh, would you perhaps hasty? Wait, one each. Yeah. Um, okay, so All right. um, uh, the, good luck. So, and then I take off again. <laughs> the, uh, so the three books on there, mm. um, and you can decide which one you want to pursue. Mm. Um, the first one is Atomic Math: An Exploration of Axiomatic Perfection by Leon Noel. Uh, Runescaping Third Edition by G.F. <laughs> Buying. <laughs> Um, and Calamitous Cauldrons, Advanced Alchemy by Professor Frank Boyle. So take a pick of which one you want. I literally grab the one that's on top and just hand them. Okay, so you have Atomic Math. Yeah. Okay. Right. I like I'm the, off. The, the sound of that third one. I and guess. I guess I'm runescaping. <laughs> <laughs> so the three of you uh, uh, bolt the library, out of the library. And um, off and go. Is it go. Di- is it direct line of like... It's Yeah, it's basically like a pointer that's kind of pulling you in a direction. Cool. I'm off um, sprinting yep. immediately. Um, so, uh, you all head off. T, your compass leads you to the front door of the administration building. Um, and as, uh, you've been here before, there are students sort of moving Is it open? Um, it's open. Okay, yeah, yeah. cool. It's, it's early morning, um, but mm. it's, it's probably just opened. 
um, and the um, uh, the the first sort of round of students have come in to try and sort out their issues for the day. Um, so there's like a bit of a queue waiting at the at the help desk, and you see the the lizard folk woman who helped you get to the chancellor's office. Is the um is the is where which where, where's the compass pointing as I come inside? Uh, so it's pointing down. The, the, corridor. the corridor that's kind of behind the the administration desk. So last time you went up the staircase that was behind it, but there's a corridor behind it um, that it's pointing straight through. I'm going to walk straight past the line uh, up to the front and just put the card on the table and I say, official library business, uh, I, I'm here on behalf of Melville. Uh, and then just like get, walk in and just flash the card like a badge and then just go. You hear the, the voice of the lizard folk woman going, excuse me, excuse me. Gertrude, and you know, <laughs> what? <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a student coming down the corridor. Stop him! Uh, I'm just gonna climb. I'm busy. Official library business, Gertrude. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, and you see the lizard folk woman. <sighs> One second, please. She says to the student in the front of the queue, um, and she uh, gets up and sort of like gets her things and starts to march down the corridor after you. <laughs> Um, uh, there's a couple of doors. I'm just following the, the compass to didn't, see. Didn't you put it down the desk? No, oh, I you, flashed you it like it. Okay, a card. Okay, sure. Yeah. Um, so, like uh, a badge. Mm. Yes. Yeah. On the way. In. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you, you're walking down and, uh, there's a couple of doors on, uh, either side of you as you pass down the corridor and you hear the, the click clack of the, the heels of, um, mm-hmm. the lizard folk woman who, um, I don't think you know the name of yet. Um, and she's sort of going, excuse me, no further, please. Um, and, uh, uh, then eventually the, um, the, um, the dot swings left as you pass, uh, as you pass a door. I <laughs> skid to a halt and go back and, and, and knock on that door specifically. Yeah. Um, there's a, there's a little sign that says, um, office supplies. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. Is it uh, is it locked? Uh, no. Okay, I go yeah, in. You open it. Yeah. Um, you open up the door, and um, inside is a, a room filled with shelves of um, boxes, stationery. Um, there's a bunch of um, there's a bunch of uh, cloaks that are sort of like hanging on the walls as sort of like you know student cloaks, and um, uh, there's yeah paper strewn over the desks. Um, there's there's kind of books scattered and just like stocked doing up. Doing a lap of the room, waving yeah. around like a metal detector. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, sure. Um, and we'll leave you there. Um, <laughs> uh, the ominous click clack of heels <laughs> approaching. Yeah. Um, uh, which brings us to um, uh, who was RuneScaping? You're RuneScaping. Um, so um, you follow your card down and it takes you I'm down. not as hasty. <laughs> yeah. Um, it takes you down by um, uh, down to a pond in the in the student district. Yay. Um, there are students sort of like having breakfast on the lawn. They're sort of sitting out. Um, the, the shops are just starting to open up and serve food. Um, the dining hall's quite busy. There's students going in and out for breakfast. Um, and uh, you get guided down to um, the pond. It's kind of trees, there's a few park benches here and there. Um, and the card is sort of pointing in the direction of the, the pond. I'm no. gonna quickly go around. How like big is the pond? Small swimming pool. Okay. Like 25 meters across, probably. Yeah. All so right. it's pretty small. Cool. Um, I'm gonna do a light jog around it, looking yeah. at the card um, the whole I, time. I, as you sort of like pass through some um, some reeds and there's a there's a, um, a flock of birds that kind of like takes off and moves as, as, as you're walking around um, and then you see the dots swing right into the pond uh, following the block the flock of birds <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, what sort of birds are they uh, they're kind of uh, <laughs> Fantasy birds. Ooh, I pigeons. just went to a bird camp over the weekend, so... Okay, what kind of birds would they be? Well, probably more hens if they're next okay, to... Okay, more in, hens. In the but... wetlands. <laughs> more grass, more head, pigeon, swamp. Yeah. Birds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's magic. Always. Magic magic, more hens. Um, and they, um, they flock and gather um, by where um, a student is kind of like throwing out some seeds. Something catches your eye because one of the birds is made of paper. What the heck? <laughs> what the hell? What? what the um, and the student feeling goes, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and kind of like stands up and backs away. How, how good um, a simulacrum is it? Or is it like like literal it's, or- origami? It's like, origami. It's yeah. not like crumpled it's, uh, paper and is it, mache. Is it pecking at the seeds? Yeah. yeah. It's, not, um, it's not actually picking them up. It's just pecking, pecking. at them. Yeah. Um, hey, could, could you, um, do you still have some more seeds there? Uh, and the, the student stops and goes, Huh? 
the seeds that you're, you're feeding them. Do you... There's something wrong with that bird. Yeah, could I get some of your seeds? You want these? Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. Just be careful, hey? That's like... Weird. It's weird. <laughs> this school is strange, man. I just got here. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, what would you like to do? I'm going to throw a seed at the bird yeah. near it. Mm -hmm. And then try and get a little bit closer. Okay, do me a nature check to <gasps> try and, try and uh, interact with these animals. It's not going to go well. I've got one. Mm -hmm. Yay. Twelve. Twelve? Cool. Um, so you, th you throw out the seeds, um, and they kind of happily hop along, um, the, the folded up origami book kind of, like, shuffles along, um, and it kind of gets closer to you, and then it gets a bit spooked and, and hops away. I'm gonna stop, and then I'm gonna crouch down, I'm gonna throw a little bit more seed out, and then I'm gonna just throw a little bit more, but it's a little bit closer to me this time. Yeah. And I'm not going to move. And I'm mm -hmm. just going to keep throwing a little couple of seeds. Mm -hmm. They're just getting closer to me and closer to me. Mm -hmm. How close is it? It's probably about a meter away. Beetroot's going to tame a bird <laughs> with 30 a minutes. Book bird. <laughs> yeah. I want it to be a little bit closer. <laughs> I'm going to throw a little bit more seed. And bolts. No. I mean, I'm reflex, I'm jumping for it. Yep. It's the freaking uh, safari zone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get your berries out. Yeah, um, cool. So, um, it it starts to uh, fly through the um, through the, the streets. Um, so this will be um, a bit of a chase um, after the after the bird. Um, so uh, the first thing you see that it flies up and hops onto the window of one of the study halls and then it jumps inside the window. And we'll leave you there. Mm. Milo. Milo's rushing like crazy. He thinks Caleb's going to die if he loses his sword. Oh, yeah, you think I'm going to die if we don't figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> um, you are uh, taking the card... Um, and it uh, guides you through um, also down to the student district um, and it takes you to the Lambent dormitories. I'll systematically go through. The, yep, like, sure. So, yeah, you'll sort of like stop at each door and yeah. it kind of like uh, it, it keeps pointing around the, the, the building um, and uh, eventually you stop at door one. And oh. it flicks and points directly. You had to into say the it. Room. You had to say I'm so it. Oh. Conrad reads math books in the bath. Oh. Confirmed. Why? God, I Wait, hate Wait, what were you? You were the first one, so you're yeah. atomic math. So oh, you're, I had you're a math Climatus book. Cauldrons. Oh, you had Climatus yeah. Cauldrons. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Well, I mean, we do know he makes. Weird. He's got a weird cauldron. He's got a weird. He is a we weird have, cauldron. Have you seen him since? We have. No. 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 Not this at is all. The next day. Wow, you are you've got a lot of like stuff to deal with on your own right now. <laughs> I knock. Yep. The door opens. And there's a bleary eyed gnome on the other side. Um with short cropped hair. Um and he kind of looks up at you and goes, Well, equal to you <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it looks up by default and then it's like oh right yeah, sorry yeah. force of habit what? Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing this exact same thing you both just <laughs> yeah. and he kind of looks and goes can I help you hi sorry I'm a bit, a bit of a rush but I'm I'm here to look for a book called Calamity Cauldrons um, have you heard of it what no man hey I, I've just got up I'm, can this can this wait no, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, but if you'd be doing me a massive favor. It's a could. matter of life and death. Yeah, it's a matter of life and death for my friend. I really need this book. Uh, hang on. I might just check with the guys first if they... What's it called? I'll see if they borrowed it. Calamity Cauldrons. Oh, uh, uh, okay. It's not the name of the book. What is it? It's Calamitous <laughs> you, Cauldrons. Yeah, Calamitous Cauldrons. Cauldrons. But, but, you, but you have it on the cards. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he kind of like... You hear him sort of like talking behind the door. Is that Calamity Cauldrons? Library. <laughs> it collected. No. No one's no one's taken it out. Really? Yeah. Well, hmm. Do you mind if I take a look? If, if if you guys don't have it, like um, like maybe it's like there by mistake. 
Please, like, my my friend really needs us, and we're we're under a time schedule. I mean, take a t- take us look inside, but you can't be here long. No, right? I I yeah. understand. Okay. Um. All right. And um, he he opens the door. There are three other students sitting in the common room, um, or in the in the lounge area, um, but Conrad is not amongst them. That's because he's at his yeah. fucking shack, having a bad time because we ruined his shack. Go to your sad shack, Conrad. <laughs> <laughs> Sit in your sad shack. Wait, I mean, wait, where, wait. Where which is... room is it pointing like, to? I mean, you're welcome to yeah, well... to watch me. I just need the. I just need. Oh yeah. So yeah, the card is, yeah. is card is pointing to one of the um, one of the oh, chambers. Oh no. So is it? That's fine. Yeah. I'll, I'll step Conrad's... to it and I'll, I'll point at it specifically. Yeah, and so he says like, "Oh, Conrad's gonna be pissed if we let him go through his stuff." Look, you can you can watch me go through it. I just need that book specifically to return it. Like it's overdue, and you know it's Conrad's a stiffler for all the rules anyway. Like you um, would probably appreciate it. You see the the other people in the in the um, in the lounge, um, kind of sharing some glances, and you see like one of them lean over and um can you make me a perception check to hear as they're talking i swear to god <laughs> please oh, no. wow oh wow. my god wow luke luke get better dice what did you do today i don't know but that's not i'll say that yeah i'll high. say that's probably just a failure um so yeah. yeah you hear them sort of like whispering to each other but you can't hear what they're saying mm-hmm. um and we'll leave you there um, back in the uh, the office supplies room, um, you hear the the footsteps behind you. Um, the woman going, "Excuse me, excuse me." But where's um, the thing pointing? It's uh, pointing to one of the shelves where there's a, a, a couple of books that are sort of stacked up together. Um, but there's um, cardboard boxes precariously stacked um, around the entire the, the entire table. So okay. you don't know which box it would be. Which in box it is necessarily? Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. I guess I'm going to get as close as possible. And if I can't immediately see it on the shelf, I'm just going to grab the closest box uh, and get it down and, and start looking through it. As I put it down, I'm going to be like, is it this box? Yeah, just, just, just see if it gives me anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm going to try and do that as much as possible before she gets yeah, there. Yeah, sure. So, um, yeah, you're quickly kind of just like scanning the boxes as, as quickly as you can. And then you hear a voice at the door and goes, stop what you're doing right now. I'm on official library business um, with the authority of Melville the Archivist. You do not have permission to come storming past the administration desk without seeing me first, actually. So stand up. Well, I can see you now, and uh, this is an urgent matter that needs resolving immediately. So if you could help me find this book, I'd really appreciate it. And I'm sure Melville would too. How dare you? Get outside right now. Do not talk to me like that. Stand up. Madam, I wasn't, I was not condescending you. No, 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 no. Step I, outside. I was merely trying to now. impart upon you the urgency of the situation. Um, uh, this whole time okay, you're searching. Okay, okay, okay. So did I get a read on any of the books? You know which box it is in. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be like, okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh, do you want to examine this yourself? I assume you're going to want to see this. Um, I'm going to hand her. Um, you see her face is livid no, no. as she steps forward and swipes the car. You, you can you. inspect it yourself. It's legitimate. I don't know why there would be a unreturned book in the office. I mean, you're uh, as a staff member, you know how those work. So uh, it's in this box. And I'll be happy to look through it with you out the front. And I'm and just going to pick it up. And you said that Melville sent you. Yes, the archivist. I shall be having a word with Melville. Get the book out of the box. You're not taking anything else with you. And once I have a talk to Melville, you're going to be in trouble, okay? You didn't get permission to come in here with me, okay? I don't care if I'm the teacher. I, I'm sorry. I, th- I thought that was a cue for student requests. This was staff business. You'll forgive my uh, misunderstanding the line. Students come into the administration hallways without expressly talking to me first, Okay. Okay, I understand. Uh, my apologies. Uh, I am new here, after all. I'm still learning how this works. They could deploy it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why don't you no cause for alarm her? Mm-hmm. Because uh, it's combative. Well, um, yeah, that, I, I mean, she's, she's it's more used to combative. diffuse the tension yeah. between like a group of people, right? That's a seventeen. She goes. Okay. 
but now you know. <laughs> <laughs> On my honour, as as a as an incumbent uh, in this uh, auspicious uh, academy, I solemnly swear that I will remember this information till the day I die. And I hang my head low in a in a in a, a genuflection uh, and, um, that, and and pick up the book as I do. <laughs> that, that seems to appease her. Um, so you open the box. Hmm. And we'll return ah! to <laughs> oh, no. our- um, It's never our, that easy. <laughs> the no. bird, um, as it flies into the window of a study hall. So as a chase progresses, um, a quick refresher on how the rules kind of work. In this instance, you are basically one step behind this book <laughs> at, at all times, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, as you uh, overcome obstacles or as you encounter obstacles, you can progress through. Every time you- uh, Every time you succeed at an obstacle, you will progress um, and you will also get, this is a bit different to the standard rules, but you'll get a plus two on your next check um, uh, on the next obstacle. Um, that is because you need to get a critical success in order to actually catch up to the thing and actually gain ground. Otherwise, you're just keeping, keeping mm -hmm. track with it. So this uh, bird flies through the, um, the window of the study hall. Um, there isn't a door immediately in front of you. So you have two options. You can make an athletics to ch uh, athletics check to climb up to where the window is um, or a society check to remember how to get into the building. We're absolutely going to do athletics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With a 12. 12. Um, you uh, manage to uh, get onto the wall and climb up, but it's a little bit steeper than you expected. Um, and so as you're climbing up, you slowly get over the sill and climb in. Um, so you progress, but you don't get the plus two to your next check, mm -hmm. um, uh, which is going to make it harder to critically succeed on the next one. Um, so you climb up into the windowsill and as you do, you realize that you're a couple of meters off the ground and the study hall is pin drop silent inside as students are scratching um, on their on their uh, uh, on their work on their books and you're kind of like crouched in the in the windowsill where's the um, card bird you see the paper bird fly down and land on the ground and then it turns refolds into a lizard and then it's just snakes under and hides under one of the tables in the study room i'm and getting into the study room and just looking like i belong there <laughs> just just rolls into window stands up <sighs> um, yeah, everyone kind of just like turns and looks at you. Um, and you are a couple of meters off the ground, so you'll have to hop down or climb down. So, gonna, I mean, it looks like it's hiding under the desk. So yeah, it it's it, not... yeah, it's, it's I'm gone to hide. Gonna, yeah. In a casually cool <laughs> kind of way, get down from, I'm not gonna jump down. I'm just. Pretending like I'm doing this all very intentionally. You just, you just slide off it and you do a couple like pull ups. You're like, oh, stretching in the morning. Isn't that lovely? And just like land and just being like, yes, uh, make, me a, make me a deception check to play it cool. <laughs> just a straight eight. You are very awkward as you, as you try and descend. <laughs> um, and this is definitely a prolonged silence oh, yeah. as everyone just watches you just. <laughs> I want to do s the person who's like closest to me. I'm just gonna do some like jazz hands, <laughs> and I want to do my fascinating performance on them. <laughs> okay. Um, so, what's your uh, tell me about fascinating performance? So basically, I can fascinate one observer for one round, <laughs> um, and that's against their will DC. So I think I okay. have to make a performance check. I'd assume. Yes. Yeah. So when I perform, compare my result to the world DC of one observer. So say that was all a performance. Would that be athletic or would that actually be perform? Uh, I would say... Actual perform. If, if you're trying to do jazz hands, that's a performance. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> 23. Wow, this is the most, like... What awkward, is awkward, awkward, awkward. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But then amazing. <laughs> hey, um, hey, uh, Deadly D8, I've got another scene to animate for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, you land down onto the ground and kind of... Um, and it's the funniest fucking thing. <laughs> but one person goes... 
Cool. <laughs> just like this dead silent room with a single clapping individual in it. <laughs> Everyone else is just like... And uh, people return to their stuff. <laughs> oh. I feel like the rest oh. of them thought that that was a really good, like, save. <laughs> It's just the one person's fascinated. Got it in oh one. God. Got it in one. <laughs> this is what my good roles will be on, is the thing I'm, that I'm is... I'm going to give you a hero point <laughs> yes! for that recovery, because... <laughs> somewhat redeemed. Somewhat. Who <laughs> is that student? Um, Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. All Man. right. I'm a, I'm a remember Kevin. Kevin's going to put in a word at the drama club for you. <laughs> Fuck yes. I want to get in a club. <laughs> cool. Um, after that, I'm now going to... Okay, so pretend um, like yeah. that didn't happen. So you're you're now in the study hall. Um, students are at desks around you, all um, deep in their work now, um, and uh, you see that the lizard is sort of like hiding amongst the feet of uh, you know a study group table. So you can either stealth to try and close the distance and get close to it, um, or you can uh, use deception to try and trick it into coming out. So you can you know do something to sort of startle it or make it uh, emerge uh, from underneath the table. I think I've still got some of the seeds from before. You do, yeah. I'm just going to, like, throw one just so it's, like, not under the table but just, like, next to the table and just Mm -hmm. see if it does anything. Do lizards eat seeds? Lizards eat a lot of things. That's Mm. honestly very fair. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Does it remember its days when it was a bird? When it was a bird. (laughs) There are so many horrifying philosophical implications to that. Um, It will... uh, So I think this is probably equivalent to making a deception to try and lure it out. Mm -hmm. Um, So I would say make a deception check to make it seem like a natural seed. Just That's just a ten. Ten? Mm -hmm. Cool. I really need to put something in deception. Um, Beetroot doesn't lie very often. <laughs> it emerges out um, from underneath the table and, and, and looks at the seeds, mm-hmm. and then it just like immediately starts to scuttle away, and you need to bolt I after am it again. running after it again. Um, and we'll go to Milo. What is Conrad's um, room like? I think it's probably got like a whole bunch of awards on the wall. Yeah, I was, I was like certificates, some r- real like, like fancy kind of like yeah. prestige. Ugh. Yeah, it's like it's like all of the. I'm so glad you got this. <laughs> Yeah. No. Oh my um, god, they would not have let you in. No. <laughs> yeah. That would have um, been fun. So there's there's yeah, a number of um certificates and like uh you know like best in class kind of awards on the wall. Um there's a, a table of of hair products. I think his his bed probably is a little bit Plush, probably not as plush as yours, but no, 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 you know, he's, he's, he, he's got de- de- decorative pillows. Decorative uh, pillows, yeah. but extremely fancy sheets. Mm, yeah, Like none yeah. of that standard yeah, issue yeah, cotton. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a billion thread count, like micro dimensional. Yeah. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So looking for the book first. Yeah. Um, and you uh, 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 gesture your um, card around and it uh, points over to a, 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 ch- a trunk in the corner, like a, a big mm. wooden trunk. Mm. Um, that's sitting below the window um, above it. Um, is there a kind of check for traps or, or magical mm. locks? Yeah, um, you can do a perception check to inspect it, or you can um, do an arcana to see if you can detect any kind of magical triggers. Hey, hey, you know what? You got to roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, arcana. <laughs> is 16 16 okay so 24 yeah 24 recovered from the uh earlier missteps yeah um uh that is that does not seem to be anything um on the chest there is a lock on it Mm. like just a a normal lock there's there's no traps but there is a padlock okay um i'll just try and um mess with it a little bit uh like it's solid, just mm-hmm. non-magical yep. lock. Do you have thieves you got, tools? You got thieves tools. Uh, I don't think you have thieves. Tools. I do not have yes. thieves so, tools. So um, you can't pick a lock without thieves tools. Mm. Um, however, you can you, break a lock. <laughs> you can improvise thieves tools if you want to. Um, it'll make it slightly harder, or I'll, I'll say it makes it uh, slightly harder to do. Um, but if you have available materials around um, that you could potentially use to pick a lock, then you can try. 
Um, this looks like a pretty simple lock. Yeah. Like it's a very basic, just kind of little latch. I could look around the room and see if I can find anything specific. Conrad's yeah. knitting needles. Yeah, yeah I think maybe, maybe <laughs> make a perception fresh. check to, to search the room a yeah. little bit. Uh, that's 19. 19. Okay, this is looking a lot um, better. There are bobby pins on his desk um, for his hairstyling. He's got luscious locks. I mean, mm. you, you gotta, you, like, ha hate on the guy for sure, but you can't hate the locks. Um, I hate everything about him. That's fair. I, I will, I can fuck with those locks now, though. Um, that's literally what you're trying to do, like, right now. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's fuck with those locks, uh, with those bobby pins. Give me a thievery check. All right. Come on, buddy. Mm -hmm. That is a 12. It's not a critical failure. So the, the pick retains its, uh, uh, integrity, but you don't make any progress. Okay. Uh, Kellen. Yes, I opened the box. You opened the box. <laughs> um, and a swarm of silverfish emerge from the box and spill out all over you. Are they made of paper? Hands. Nope. They are oh, no! <laughs> and just regular silverfish, and you can see that they have been feasting on everything. Roll an initiative check for me, please. <laughs> I'm going to have to fight the silverfish. What does, what does person who continues to be unnamed behind me say? Um, I'm, I'm just going to name her because... Um, yeah, pl please. This <laughs> is getting out of either. hand. Uh, her name's Sybil. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, she lets out like a shrill... Ah! Okay, I got a 16. So, uh, this is our first encounter with a swarm. Um, so, swarms... It's also Kellen's first encounter with yeah. a swarm. <laughs> um, so, swarms basically take up an area. So, this one, in, in this case, is... Uh, you. Is large. <laughs> Presently myself. Yeah, so it's large. So, it's basically just like fills the floor with these little bugs mm. that are now swarming and writhing and they're all nipping at you. The main thing is that um, they have specific actions that they take um, and... Unlike regular uh, monsters, they often don't have to make attack checks. They will just uh, bite you because there's so many in that the they space. Just, yeah, they, they they just take over. Mm. Um, so it's going to use its swarming bites ability on you uh, three times. Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Because it actually probably the first one is to move out of the box, so it'll do it twice. Um, and can I get you make it a fortitude save? Oh no, I'm gonna get silverfish disease. <laughs> Okay, that's a nine. Nine. Um, really burnt that hero point like at the <laughs> earliest yeah. possible opportunity. Um, so you're going to be sickened one, yeah. uh, which means that you are going to be uh, taking a penalty to pretty much everything um, unless you spend an action to retch and try and get rid of your sickened condition. Don't um, open your mouth. You've got I was going to say, I'm not, I'm not doing <laughs> yeah. that. Um, but you will take five damage as these silverfish start to like ah. nip and bite at you all Ow. over and start to chew through your clothes. Um, and um, Sybil kind of just like panics and then s steps back um, and uh, looks around and then uh, closes the door and then starts running out. She's ah, son of a <laughs> um, and she runs. Uh, uh, what would you like to do? I'll never Australia. forget this. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, first of all, yeah. Um, no, I'm going to jump on onto a shelf to get off the floor. Okay. Um, uh, just, Great. just, just trying to like position myself uh, gently off uh, off the floor, uh, and then just like swipe down at them with my sword. Cool. So, um, you'll need to uh, make me a acrobatics to try and balance as you jump up onto the shelf okay. with a neg one because I'm sickened. I think it yes. affects yep. that. Yeah. That's okay. It's fifteen. It's fifteen. It's cool. 15. Yeah. So you managed to to um, just climb up onto the side of the shelf, and um, so that'll be one action. One action to draw your sword. Yep. And then one and action then to kind of swipe down at, at anything that you can hit. Uh, so make your swords make your attack roll. Not necessarily the best for squashing bugs, but hey, here we are. That is a natural one. Oh no. Cool. I mean, nothing happens as a result of a crit, but yes, you, okay. you're definitely just probably panicking and, and flailing. Um, I will say that um, probably because the combination of uh, technically your low roll on the, the climb check and your crit on the um, the uh, the swinging, the shelves start to, to rock as you leap onto it and are flailing ah! lovely. Um, so it starts to, to lose balance inside the um, room. Somebody help, please. Um, 
and uh, we'll go back to Beetroot. <laughs> um, All right, um, Liz is going for it. I'm going for the lizard. Yep. So you you uh, charge through the um, you charge through the study hall and um, burst out the door on the other side, and you see the lizard scuttles across the street into the dining hall. You need to dart through all the people, and then you get to the other side, um, and you see the lizard. Once uh, you step into the dining hall, it's these long tables with a sort of servery at one end, and they're kind of scooping out food for for students, and they're all sitting down. So there's a bunch of students sitting along these long hall tables. Um, the lizard transformed again into a, um, into a frog, um, and it leaps up onto one of the tables and starts leaping down the tables and sort of knocking plates of food and things as, as it goes along. Um, so look at Carafel, frog on frog violence, frog on frog violence. Like look at each other. Yeah. And you see Carafel's just like, um, so, um, so you have a bit of freedom with this one. Um, you have uh, acrobat- acrobatics or athletics to jump across or um, around the tables mm-hmm. um, to try and catch up to it, um, or you can use diplomacy or intimidation to try and convince other students to to corner it. Once again, I have no charisma, so we're going to athletics that bad boy. Yep. Um, Great. I'm not going to try and jump onto the tables. I'm what I'm hoping is to basically like run around along the floor to yep. get trying to head it off yeah okay okay um so that'll be a less efficient way to do it i will say um <laughs> to uh like that that's fine you can do it but i'll just make the dc a little bit harder because you'll have to run that much faster in if order to actually keep up with it that's the case no no no. Then. it's it's up to you i don't want, i don't want to force you either way i just want to let you know the the, the okay. consequences it's like it's it's beelining across the tables and if you want to run around it'll take you a little bit longer but you, that's up to you I mean, I'm just considering, like, the level of effort. This is, like, Fermat's theorem of the least path of resistance with yeah. the light, and it's, like, you, anyway. Mm. There's a lot that's going through Beatrice's mind right now, apparently. Yes. Yep. Um, <laughs> just physics. <objects>. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Numbers. <are> just- <laughs> Look, um, yes, I think to be true, it makes sense rather than jumping onto the tables yep, go to cool. go around. Okay. So, athletics uh, So, it'll be check. a DC 17. Mm. I mean... Motherfucking 25! That's a 25. Not a crit, unfortunately. Ah, because, because you went around. Because you went around. Um, but that's okay. Uh, that's so funny. You would you would have caught it if you went on the tables. Um, uh, so, I was being polite. I know. No, 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 no. This is correct. Again, you know, that's what Beach would have done. That's correct. Um, so, uh, yeah, you, you uh, try and just go to town trying to keep up with it um and uh yeah people are kind of like getting startled as this frog's uh jumping across their tables and you're kind of skirting through the tables um after it um so you manage to keep up with it um and you'll get a plus two on your next check to try and catch it um back to milo <laughs> this is this got real out of yeah. hand real goddamn uh, fast can i try pick the lock again you may um you've had one failed attempt haven't you mm. yeah cool yep Break it, break it, break um, it. So there's no there's no uh, failure penalty for failing a lock check. The only penalty is time. Mm. Oh, and yeah, yes. Yeah. If you critical, if you critically fail, your thing snaps. snaps yeah. um, but if you just fail, you just have to keep making checks until you can succeed. Yep. Okay. Mm. So that is twenty three. Twenty three. Cool. Um, you hear the lock just as you manage to. Um, uh, Jimmy had opened just go, 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 at go, go, the go. right point. And the lock pops open, um, and you hear the door of the dormitory open. I'll quickly grab it. Inside, you see um, a couple of small flasks that contain like a sort of mercurial liquid in it. But there's also a couple of books in here, and you see a, the spine of one of them is Calamitous Cauldron's Advanced Alchemy. All right, I will grab it. And you hear voices murmuring outside. Quick, 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 quick. Um, and yeah. you, you you hear him saying through the um, through the curtain. Yeah, yeah, it's all being compromised. No, we have to we have to shut it down. Um, I no, I know it was them. I know it was them. Uh, the only things missing were their belongings. So you know, who else who else would it would it have been? Um, and then you gonna... hear some other voices, and then you hear him go, "What? I'm gonna hide." <laughs> Oh, okay. Do you do, do, you do anything what, with the chest? You, what are you doing? Uh, is the, ch- the chest big enough? Um, I don't think it'd be big enough. Okay, I'm afraid. Uh, what do the 
flasks look like? Am I able to quickly identify what any of them do? You can do a um, you can do a crafting check for me. Okay. Uh, so that is a sixteen. Sixteen. Um, you've seen some basic alchemy in the past. Um, this doesn't look like anything that you've seen. It has a strange, uh, a strange nature to it. it it's um, uh, like it's yeah, sort of like a shimmery chrome liquid that kind kind of almost seems to be slowly sort of oscillating inside the um, inside the vial by itself. Um, it look, but you don't know what it is. Does it look volatile at all? No. Okay. Um, I'm still gonna hide. Okay. Where in the room? Uh, under the bed. Under the bed, I guess. Okay. Are you taking? Are you, a, are you taking a file or not? Uh, uh, yeah, I guess I'll take a vial and take the book. Are you closing the? I've, yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take we a vial. can't backseat drive. Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> resisting so hard. Uh, I am going to take the vial, uh, take the book, um, and I'm going to actually leave it open. Okay. And I'm gonna hide. Where are you hiding? Uh, I'll hide. Um. Uh, uh, it, so okay, so, I'll, so uh, sorry, that's probably on me to give you a bit more yeah. description. So um, I guess like uh, as you walked into the room, the things that you probably see are there's the bed, there's the trunk, obviously, um, there's the window above the trunk, there's a dresser in the corner um, that probably has a bunch of clothes in it hanging. Um, there is probably I, I'm going to say there's probably a laundry basket in the corner where he where he has all of his dirty clothes. Oh, uh, can I climb out the window? Uh, yeah, like it's closed. You'd have to you'd have to either smash it or open it to get out. But um, um, it is an option. Oh no, this is all. Oh, this is a lot. Um, I'm just gonna hide under the bed. Okay, cool. Um, give me a stealth check. <laughs> okay, that is a twenty-four. Cool. Great. Um, who are we up to, Kellen? <laughs> I mean. Uh, uh, so the yeah the shells start to, to sway a little bit, which is going to put you a little bit off kilter. Okay, um, can I try and spend an action to steady them? Yes. Uh, yeah, give me a give me an athletics check to try and um, just hold put my hand out like trying to put yeah, it on a wall. It starts to teeter over, probably into the next shelf. Unless, yeah. Unless you try and stop. Um, am I on the opposite side of the room to the door? Yeah, I think you probably walked over to the other side of the room in order okay. to, uh, okay. to get there. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's, it's like the 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 door itself is it's like it's not a big room. It's probably only like. Um, it's probably it's a storage. Room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'd, I'd say like, yeah, you're probably within one move from the door if you did want to just go out. Yeah. Did you get the book? I mean, I have the. Um, you have. The, you I have did. I know I didn't because you it, haven't specifically it, grabbed anything out of the book yet, out of the box. Yeah. Oh no. <sighs> um, and I assume you would have dropped it on the ground in you, order to you, climb you, up onto the thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get off the the shelf and go down and try and get the book. That's good. Technically, it's its turn. <laughs> I just realized. Oh, right. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, no, because you, you, you know, that, that's good, though. So, yeah, you keep that plan. So, you basically jump down um, off of the, off of the. Well, um, I mean, I'm still on the thing then. So, are they climbing up to, like, Yeah, so, 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 they'll crawl up onto the um, thing. So, they'll take a, um, they'll, yeah, they'll need to move to actually climb up it. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I forgot the order. Yeah, no, uh, so did I. That's all good. Um, so, yeah, that'll be three damage, uh, five damage total as they are um, nipping you. Um as, as they're as they're climbing up your legs, it's not how I thought today would go. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah. So jump down. Yeah. Um, I mean, can I squish some of them when I land? Incidentally, yeah. Unarm- uh, unarmed boot y- yeah, strike. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Probably take a strike to just actually try and get on them. Uh, so yeah, make make an unarmed um, attack. Hit him with my boots. Uh, am I trained? I am. Okay. So be. that is uh that eighteen. Eighteen. Cool. Um, the thing about swarms is they are very easy to hit um, oh, because okay. they are pretty... Uh, They're so, everywhere. So, sorry. Easy to hit, but tricky to do damage to. So yeah. as you stomp, uh, uh, you manage to squish a bunch, but how much damage do you do? Okay, that'll just be a D4 plus D4 one. plus so strength. three. Three? Cool. Um, you see that you squash one bug. Mm. <laughs> Fuck you in particular. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, yeah, do I see the book? Yes, and in inside the box is a uh, a couple of uh, a couple of books um, that uh, amongst them is a kind of beat up looking, somewhat nibbled on uh, uh, edition of uh, Atomic, Atomic Math, Math Atomic an Math. exploration of axiomatic do, perfection. Do I, what else do I see in the box? Just as a, um, it seems to just be a couple of other books on the side of the box. 
is sort of Sharpie written um, uh, fizzle brim on it. Uh, uh, that and, makes sense. Uh, yeah, so then you can barrel out and, and make it to the door okay. um, in, in, in that time. Fair enough. Um, so, yeah, you, you skirt out onto the into the corridor. It, it wasn't, she didn't lock it, she just shut it? Yeah, she just okay, closed cool. it behind her because she right. didn't want bugs coming after her. So, okay, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to um, get on the outside of the door and, like, hold it shut. And yeah. be like, uh, hello, somebody. Yeah. And uh, we've you, got a situation. You see her like pointing down the corridor at you um, and a couple of other um, staff, administrative staff teams seem to be like coming down help, towards help you. Help, help, student in danger. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, and uh, they they run up to you and they go like, uh, what happened? Is everything all right? What was the noise? Uh, the the, the, the uh, room's full of silverfish. I I almost died. I'm, I think I don't, oh, I don't feel so good. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, young man, we, we better get we better get you to the we better get you to the wards then. C- come with us; we'll take you to the doctor. Um, and uh, <laughs> do, I get, do I get outside? At least? Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, like you're not strictly in trouble, but yeah, like, yeah. yeah, they'll they'll lead you out, and they say like the the lab master will will patch you up. It's all good. Okay. Um, good. So. Uh, when when we get outside, like, do I know the direction that is? Is it towards the library or away uh, from it? It is away from the library. Yeah, okay, so yeah. Um, uh, I, I, I'm going to just be like, oh, oh man, it's... Oh, my God, look, they're coming right now behind you. More um, of them. They all turn and go like, uh, ah, oh, no, levels. they've got Gertrude, <laughs> and then run off. What? <laughs> 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 um, book in hand. Just, yeah, and you just bail. Um, yeah. Well, slower, because I'm like... Oh. <laughs> uh, and you hear them go, hey, kid, wait. Uh, as as you like it back to the library, um, uh, be true. You All right, are, um, what's it doing now? Uh, you are in the in the food hall. Um, you've managed to catch up to it, and then it it, it uh, jumps into the air, and then the frog reforms into a bird, and it starts to fly through the kitchen. Um, yes, it does. You have one last chance to get it before it goes away. Um, as it uh, flies through um, the the kitchen, um, things are being prepared. There's hot stoves, um, everything uh, are around, and it's kind of all the chefs are like, ah, what the hell? As this bird starts safe flapping space around. For a book kitchen. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it starts to fly out through a, a window at the other side of the kitchen. It's going straight to this little, like, um, a slightly ajar window. Um, you can make a reflex t- uh, save to catch it as it goes out the window, or you can barrel through the window after it and make a fortitude save to um, brace against the the smashing of the window in order to catch it. Guess who's got exactly the same fortitude and reflex saves? Great. Mm. We're going to do a reflex. Cool. That just seems... Um, let me let me carefully skirt yeah. around these studying students yeah. and then smash a window! Yeah. <laughs> All right, reflex, come on. Come on, please. I want this book bird. <laughs> the bird just exits out of your grip. No, no, you go. Oh, no, no. Please. And not, not for this. <laughs> one last leap forward. You manage to oh, dive out of the window. I feel so bad. Grab onto it and <laughs> land on the lawn outside with a bird in hand. Is it... What's it doing now that I've caught it and it's a bird? Uh, it's just fluttering. I'm going to make sure that I'm holding it both like firmly but carefully because I don't want it to rip. And then I'm just going to... Here. And I'm going to give it some seeds in my hand. Yeah, it just starts to like peck at the seeds. It doesn't eat <laughs> They're them. They're just throwing just, them off the hand. It just, that's just what it it's does. It's just like bending the beak. Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but it starts to it starts to relax a little um, instead of trying to get away from your grip. You're a really weird book, <laughs> but uh, it's time for you to go back to the library now. Um, and uh, Milo, you are hiding under a bed. Yep, yep, um, I'm doing that. As uh, footsteps enter into the room, um, and uh, you hear the gnome go, "Sorry, I, I, I thought he was on official business, so I kind of just let him in. I know that's not what." And um, you hear Conrad go, "I will deal with you later." And you hear, uh, "Well," as the gnome gets pushed outside, um, 
and he walks slowly over to the trunk. Um, you feel the heart in your chest beating uh, very loudly, like impossibly loudly, like surely he will hear mm. um, your heart beating. Um, and he stops in front of the chest and sees that it's open. Um, and you hear him close the chest with a th- uh, aggressive slam and he stands up onto it and you hear the window open mm. are you doing anything um um how i would know how the rooms are kind of orientated in the building right yeah so i would like to cast go sound of um the sound of like shimmying and the just a whole bunch of people <laughs> just just on the wall like around the corner yeah pretty much like on the outside. wall around the corner outside uh, okay mm. very smart mm. okay cool um yep yeah, so the trick is casting a spell does technically make sound i do have conceal spell so i can roll that was your second level check. choice wasn't yes, it absolutely Whoa, it's coming <laughs> in handy Woo! straight away Okay, so how does how does that work? So um, basically, I roll a stealth check um, against their um, their perception DC. Mm-hmm. Um, if I'm trying to trick them, it would be um, a deception DC. But obviously, it's trying to be as quiet as possible. Yeah. So yeah, stealth. Make a does stealth check. Good? Yeah. Okay. Cast that spell quietly. That's oh, a two. Wow, that ain't gone. That ain't gone. That. Ain't gone. <gasps> that- is there a crit fail condition? No, surely not. Um, but that is eight. Cool. So you are as quietly as you can making the hand gestures and then whispering the uh, whispering the spell. This is the first time you've tried to cast and conceal the, the sounds that you make. Um, and then it goes... <laughs> <laughs> quieter than normal than you would but mm. it's still in this quiet room it it is it is almost deafening um and you hear the sound of scraping outside um but instantly like his feet turn on the trunk mm. and you see him slowly step off the trunk okay what would you like to do um all right plan b i am going to cast teleconnect projectile on a vial all the vials inside of the trunk if i can mm. you want to smash the vial smash so the trunk is closed yeah can you hmm. do you have to be able do to see have, the object you have line of sight i, what I is, what say, is teleconnect projectile I think, say? It's, I think it's pretty vague i think it just says an object in the area or uh, unattended vial. object within range that has one bulk or less at the target i suppose um, you're you're aware of you it. don't need yeah. to see it oh my god yep it says, yeah, yeah evocations. Maybe make an arcana check in order to see if you can master this, like... This, this is some Star specific. Wars, like, yeah, use yeah. the force level. Yeah, this, this is, like, you're concentrating incredibly hard. Uh, so that is... Oh my god, I thought that was a one. <laughs> <laughs> that is um, 15. Okay, 15 is just enough. So you, you manage to, to feel the vial inside, almost x-ray like- vision, <laughs> um, and you hear it, like, done crash inside the inside of the um, chest. Um, and um, there's a shattering sound as um, there's kind of like sprinkles inside and um, Conrad kind of like stops and like immediately like drops down, like opens up the, uh, opens up and the- And I'm bolting out um, the- um, case. And you, yeah, you hear him say, no, no, no. Um, and then uh, and then you bolt out yeah, as that bolting. happens. Um, yeah. uh, so uh, cool, yeah, you, you, you just charge through. Um, the other students are still kind of just like sitting. Um, the gnome's probably by the door and um, he s- turns and he's like, Hey man, stop! <laughs> you just push past him, yeah. um, and the others kind of like jump up from the couch to try and grab you. But um, I'll say that because they were still sitting down, you probably are able to to get to the door and shut it um, just in time. Um, and uh, you're outside, but um, you still have to make it back to the library. So, are you going to try and outrun them? What, what are you going to do? I'm going to cast illusionary disguise on myself. Okay, so that makes you a generic person. Doesn't uh, it? Yeah, basically, it just um, it makes you unrecognizable more than it makes you recognizable as someone else. Yeah, run, ar- run around the corner at uh, least. Uh, yeah, I'll run around the corner, I guess, and and then do it. Yep. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, you hop off. Um, there's probably students mingling about, so you can probably blend in with them a little bit. Some Assassin's just, Creed yeah, level and then, nonsense. And then, and then, yeah. ju and then just and, and cast it. Um, and yeah, you manage to start to walk with just like a group of students. Um, <laughs> they, they were like mid-conversation and they go like, can we help you as, as, they, as you're sort of walking along next to them? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for these books specifically and I'll just start rambling as much yeah, as yeah, possible. And you, you walk past um, as the door of the dormitory opens and all of them start to look out and just like uh, you hear Comrade go, Spread out, find them. Um, and uh, they go searching, but you are walking away with a group of students, unseen. All right. So do you know anything uh, about these books? I, I find them quite interesting. <laughs> What's your opinion on the difference between um, like meta magic and like, like just, and that's just trails off. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nice. um, and the three of you each from your separate paths rejoin back at the library <laughs> three for three i mean that's all right i mean it cost us two hero points that's to okay. get to, to here. be fair though i got one hero point yeah so and a, then a net one loss like, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. Fair. that's fair yeah um and you so return made a lifelong i probably got that Kevin. <laughs> I probably got there first and so or yeah. or like we're pulling at the same time or whatever and I'm like did did you did you get them and I'm like out of breath and like visibly swaying a little like you're not gonna die <laughs> it's a library yeah everyone you're not everyone gonna die to look okay let's, yeah I got a bird go what over to that's, that's very interesting I'm holding it Okay. Very firmly still, but now I'm yeah. giving it little pets. We'll walk yeah. over to the along its spine is the name of the book um, on the bird. Gonna walk I'm over. I'm giving it like little like heads. Yeah, it just rustles a little bit. Go over to the help <laughs> desk and just kind of be like, Mel Melville, hello. Uh <laughs> this one likes to to fly away, so do be firm when holding on to it. Oh, I will. That explains why it uh, didn't return. You were right. I admit everything too hard. Couldn't do your job. I'm telling but you, being a librarian. Could, yes, <laughs> could you excuse me? I'm just going to throw up on the floor in front of the desk. Just... <sighs> excuse me. I hate math. <laughs> 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 Looks like I've added just one more task to your list of yeah, duties I'll, I'll for today. Get a, I'll get a bucket. Um, I can't spread the dissertation and clean it. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, right, <laughs> you missed a spot, and then he <laughs> casts spreads the digitation. And, um, and but it looks cooler. It. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and he takes the bird, and you also see him mutter some words and cast it, and um, it sh shivers for a moment, um, and then it. <laughs> folds back into a book. It likes seeds, so if every now and then you'd like to give the book a couple of seeds. Probably... Um, the cover of it, like, <laughs> and a couple of seeds <laughs> pop out of it. Also, uh, just as a side note, the administration building has a small, extremely large silverfish infestation. Mm. All right, I'll take a note. He anyway, doesn't... I guess we're getting on. You want to still see the restrictions? I, I, I'll go over it the clock. How much time do we have left? I uh, probably have... Uh, like not until much. the class begins, probably half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yes, we don't have a lot of time now, but please, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, um, uh, first of all, can you, uh, and he, he reaches out and grabs a box, um, and, uh, they, he opens it up and inside is a bunch of little tags, like little stone runes with uh, a string that you can tie around the book. Um, and he goes couple of uh, returning runes uh, make sure that uh, these books don't go astray again. Would you mind just popping them back onto the books there for me? Thank you. And he goes back to reading this book. And the, just the books in front of us? Yeah, the three books that okay. he brought back. I, I just do yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, he goes, great, very useful. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, he uh, closes the box and he goes, all right. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, he stretches as he gets up. <sighs> Make me want to stretch, G. <laughs> and then he uh, puts his book down. And then he goes, mm, and opens a drawer. 
Let me put the book in. I'm like looking at the clock. Like, is it? Got it. Oh yes, yeah, sorry. We're going. We're going. Uh, uh, mm. Um, yeah, I think he probably just takes you to a, a, a door on the back wall of the library, um, and he pulls out some keys and, and they rattle. Um, and he's, he's, he's got a pretty towering presence and he, so he sort of like hunches over a little bit with a tiny key and just opens it into the, into the door and pushes it open, leads into a back corridor. Um, and he goes, so you are, uh, trying to become like your mother then? Uh, well, I, I don't really know what she was like, other than what people have told me, but in theory, yes. Mm. Well, I guess you have uh, 15 minutes to find out what she was like. Here it is, uh, and he opens um, a back room in the corridor, and inside is a dark room with um, quite chaotic stacks of, of, of folders and shelves. Um, everything's quite clearly labelled, but it's very um, erratic. Like, you can tell a whole bunch of different bits of handwriting and notes and labels have been put onto different things. Um, he he muddles a, a couple of words and some runes light up to illuminate the space. He starts to sort of, like, flick through the, the folders as you all enter into it with names on them um, of, you assume, past luminaries. Um, and they have details about their their rank on the spine and he finds Lenora Finrail, um, the folder. And he pulls it out, and goes, Try not to rush too much. These are delicate. Kellen is like visibly like shaking mm -hmm. with uh, trepidation and a whole bunch of complicated emotions and just mm -hmm. thank you. Mm. Oh, okay. Either of you two have any famous relatives I should know about? Um, n no, but um, I was wondering if you have any books um, in here about mm. any uh, uh, um, emotional support animals for students <laughs> and what the if there are any rules about that? I think you can find that in the general section. That's I'll not go, particularly I'll restricted go look access. Now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yep. You head out and go back out to, to browse the library. Inside the book is a um, a couple of uh, documents, and there's sort of like a list of assignments in there that um, kind of give details of missions that uh, she went on and completed. Um, there's like a bunch of grade sheets and things in there. Um, there's you know assignments about how. She defeated the scourge of Timon's Hold and that she was the liberator of Crag Kalast and things you've probably heard stories from your your father yeah, from about yeah, like the kind I, of things I guess, that she accomplished. I guess Kellen had assumed that a lot of it was like, you know, the the kind of stories you tell a kid hmm. to, you know, yeah. impart knowledge or, or, or just bedtime stories and had had never really considered the fact that they were like literally had happened yeah uh, and so like confronting the, the the reality of this person being yeah um as great as 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 they were in theory is quite alarming. yeah the archivist like steps up behind you as you're sort of like reading and can sort of read your face a little bit and says quite exceptional in all measures i if i recall correctly we um once you reach higher rank studies uh lenora's case is often used as a uh, as a case study for students about what good performance might look like at higher level missions. And um, he reaches down and inside the inner cover mm. of the book, there's a little, almost looks like a little crystal lens disc. He reaches down and plucks it out of the book. Over in the corner of the room, there is a device which has a kind of arcane looking crystal in the middle of it. And it's got these sort of little brass arms that sort of sit off of it. And he takes the, the disc and clicks it in and uh, he goes, oh, we can have a look for yourself if you like. He gestures and there's a, a light that glows from within the, the crystal and it projects through the lens out onto one of the walls of the, of the archive. It's quite gloomy in here, so the, the light creates a very vivid image on the wall. Um, and it's essentially a photograph, like it's a, it's a captured bit of light um, that has been magically sort of frozen in time. Um, and it depicts uh, a group of 11 hardy looking luminaries. They're all recognizable by 
some of them are wearing cloaks, some of them um, uh, aren't and are wearing sort of bigger pieces of armor. Um, but they all look very seasoned, very hardened adventurers, have arms around each other. Quite, um, There's quite a bit of camaraderie between them. Standing in the middle is um, a woman, a, an elven woman um, with long red hair. She's wearing like a, like a seal skin cloak that makes her look very seasoned. A golden spyglass at her hip, as well as a, a sword. Um, with a, you can just make out a swan stylized emblem mm. on the mm. bottom of it. Callum is just gonna like walk over and just kind of like just put a hand up next to a um, yeah. picture and like obviously blocks the projection or whatever, but it's just kind yeah, of like sure. looking and just very not crying, but just very kind of solemn for a moment because I mean, he didn't know this person so it's it's hard to you know miss somebody you didn't actually ever really yeah no but it's very surreal yeah she looks very relaxed and she looks she looks like to be in some sort of authoritative position i'd say like maybe they're on the deck of the ship and she's sort of standing behind the wheel melville's uh reading the file behind you as you um have gone up and he sort of continues talking and he goes mm, a lot of successful missions and very high grades almost throughout all of her time here at the academy uh, i mean hopefully yours can be as good well we'll see we're off to a bit of a rocky start <laughs> but yeah it's, it's i mean D dad always uh, <laughs> spoke very highly of her but i i guess i hadn't really realized how big of a deal she was um huh uh, 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 does it does it does it say anything about about, about the sword? Sorry, <laughs> should try and stay focused. Don't have much time. Um, skims through and finds a note that has a a sketch on it of an elven blade. The diagram is basically a, a repurposing of the elven blade mm -hmm. um, into a into um, the sword that you now recognise. Um, and there isn't a lot of detail. It looks to be almost like a like a commission, like you know, it's like a request kind of form that mm. um, was given to Voland, the Forge Master. The caption on the bottom of it um, just reads "Swan Song." Um, this is probably completely out of the question, but is there any way I could have that drawing um, to take with me? Gonna have to do a lot of favors. Mm. <laughs> as long as it's, <laughs> I mean, you can't guarantee I'll never see another silverfish again. But, um, yeah, I, 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 I need that pretty badly. <laughs> Make a diplomacy check. Mm -hmm. I spent my hero point already. Mm. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That was, um, 25. Sounds pretty convincing. 25. He holds it out to you. <laughs> and then he pulls it away and says, if this comes back in any condition other than exactly how it is right here, you're going to have to deal with worse than silverfish. Okay. Threat received and understood. Take it. And Mel Melville. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're, you're sometimes need a bit of excitement in a very busy day. <laughs> it's been a it's been a yeah, rough start to being here. Uh, and you are genuinely the first person who has just been good and helpful. I know, I know. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> fine. Flattery gets you nowhere. But thank you. He nods. Um, and he says, um, there's one last thing. Oh. And he sort of points at the file and he says, uh, most of the mission reports came back successful. It, yeah. Yeah. Um, and he pushes it towards you and he says 
it's up to you if you want to know. And he goes to pull uh, the folder back. Mm -hmm. Can I uh, leave that offer on the table for another day, maybe? I think that might be best. Thank you. And he takes the folder, um, gets the, the light disc out of the projector and puts it back in and puts it back on the shelf. And he says, besides, you were never down here. So yeah. there's no reason you would know. <laughs> um, and he locks the door behind. Oh, shit, Milo's inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like flipping through like yeah. other people's files. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> um, yeah, Milo, Conrad's you know, dad was a real piece yeah. of work. <laughs> no, I've just been silently. Yeah. Yeah. Did you... I find any books on emotional support animals? Because <laughs> uh, yes. I could really use one right now. <laughs> yes, um, yes you, you find uh, books on uh, training animals and support animals that you can uh, uh, take out. That will be enough for you to research how you might sort of make a submission to, to do that. Do you look for any books on people being magically turned into frogs? <laughs> That will be my next journey to the library. Right. Of I just course, need of a course. secure carafeo yeah. first, mm. and then we're going to start re researching how to help him find his yeah. one true love. Of course. Mm. <laughs> um, God, every time I think about it, it just, my brain. As you leave the library, um, uh, Melville says, oh, uh, before you go. And uh, he holds out his hand to you. Kellen, look, I know I kind of sent you on a bit of a goose chase, but... It was more of a moorhen and then a, a <laughs> lizard and then a frog chase. I thought a swarm of silverfish, so... <laughs> uh, but it was nice to have a bit of... a uh, uh, bit of extra fun in my day, so thank you. And it was really fun. fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was really fun. I enjoyed it, actually. Yeah, I wouldn't mind uh, Yeah, what happened to you? We'll talk crying. about it later. <laughs> <laughs> if, um, if any of you, uh, uh, I just say this because if any of you um, want to uh, apply for any part-time work in the library. D yes. Oh, I yes, can, please. Uh, I, can, I can help you out. I, I probably can't fill multiple positions, but uh, it's you, an option. They always say that the, 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 the library is the pathway to the greatest number of adventures, but I always assumed it was you know somewhat less literal than this but you know i understand <laughs> now <laughs> take care look after yourselves just consider it and come mm. and talk to me um and he goes back to reading his book um he's given you something in your yeah. palm kellen <gasps> oh um with that handshake um a small rune with a piece of string around it mm. that a returning looks thing. to be the returning room, which is basically a single-use recall object. I assume it's for the piece of paper. So, but yeah. I mean, he's just giving it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to hold on to that. Yeah. So here's my thinking. Um, given that, like, I have a piece of paper that says that the Forge Master definitely knew what this sword was the last time he looked at it, I have questions. So mm. I don't mind taking a bit of time. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a bit of a leveraging position here. So I'm going to go to class because I don't want to piss any more people off. Okay, great. Am I doing a really good job of pissing I'm just min-maxing min mm -hmm. the amount of um, reputation debuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, there's always trade-offs, so... <laughs> yeah, so um, I'll, I'll take it after okay, class. Great, yeah. so um, uh, you all head to um, the class with the Wildmaster, which um, is set out in the woods um, where you will... Spend the day learning about how to deweed the forest of the pesky cauldron vines. Um, I'm not going to go into that um, because we've, we've done we've that already. You've done, done that. Yeah. We passed uh, with flying colors. Yeah, yep. yeah, incredible. Um, yeah, actually, no. You've probably all got quite a bit of experience and can probably ask and answer questions that the wild master oh, is mm. is asking. So I'm going to give each of you a lumen because I'm going to assume that during that class you probably performed pretty well. Yeah, prior yeah. knowledge. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, oh, so yeah. you can mark that down. Yeah. Um while you're at the nature class with the wild master. You've probably been out for a couple of hours um you know trying to find plants and there there's much smaller plants than what you've encountered last night and um you can handily deal with them with the alchemist fire. The class is cut short however because um you start to hear some some like yelling and calling out from further out in the woods as you all gather and approaches a smoking 
remains of a burnt down shack. tool shed. Yeah. It is charred, still smoking. It looks like it was probably burned down in the early hours of the morning. And there's a collection of students that are gathering around and um, uh, kind of like gossiping and, and murmuring about it. Did we take... We did... I'm trying to remember if we took the journals. Did we decide to yeah, take them? Yeah, we got them? the journals. We did, you took one journal. One journal. Uh, that was like... seemed to be some sort of notebook or what? Yeah, that was the only um, other thing we took. And the pauldron and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah. cool. Students are sort of being ushered away um, by by staff. It looks oh like there's... God, already, what is happening a, here? A bit of a collection of people <laughs> oh, around. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. It looks like they've... Um, it looks like it's been found like a little bit earlier because there's already a collection of people here and staff are kind of like telling people to go away but all the students are very excitedly trying to get closer and see and there are all the student representatives are trying to um, move people know, along people away including um, Conrad I assume among them is a notably muted Conrad um, he has a stern face and is just seeing to his duties and ushering people along. I, I think we're just going to walk past yeah. and mm. be like, oh my god, what is that? Yeah. Can you believe in something? Fire in the woods? I hope nothing important. This place just seems shack. more and more dangerous by the day, doesn't it? Hope that shack didn't have anything important at all. And you walk away, leaving behind the smoking wreckage. He kind of locks eyes with you for a moment. And then, all right, right this way, everyone. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. We, we move on. And that's where we'll leave this episode. Ah! We really should get like a really, uh, like a recorder and play a shitty recorder <laughs> at the beginning. Do you mean it? <laughs> I can, uh, like the P- um, Titanic one. I mean, I can get the guitar and play a shitty guitar. We could do a shitty recorder version of the main theme. Oh my God. Gianni wouldn't that even would have be to be so good. Gianni just has to change every instrument to recorder and then like desync the melody. <laughs> Wait, what? To make a shitty recorder version of the main theme. Oh, okay, yeah. sure. Yeah, we get right on that. <laughs> <laughs>